Hello and welcome. Today I would like to give you a step-by-step -step guide how you can install a Polarin extension on your Polarin server. And having said that, please ensure that you have file access to the Polarin server and that you are able to stop and start the Polarin server. Otherwise, you will not be able to install an extension. So, let's get started. First thing you need to do is find an extension you would like to deploy on the server. So you go to the Polarin extension portal and then you download the extension. Once you did that, it will be available in your downloads directory. And uh, in my case, it's the 313 extension. And they are all set up or basically structured in the same way. So when you drill down into the zip file, you will find um, a main directory and below that directory there will be a folder Eclipse, below that will be a plugins directory, and below that is actually the directory of the extension. And that's very important. So if you don't find these directory, Eclipse, plugins, and then the name of your extension or some containing folder, which contains then the actual code of the extension, um, then something is probably wrong and you may need to create these directories, plugins, Eclipse, manually. But this should be, um, in, most, in most extensions, this is already the case. So, once you did that, you will have to copy this directory in the directory of your Polarion server, and in my case, it's in apps, Polarion, and then there is a directory called extension, and that's where you need to copy the extension into it. So once you did that, it should look somehow like this. A containing directory, this can be any name, So, but it, it makes sense that the directory name somehow represents the extension itself so that you know, okay, what, what extension have you deployed? Then comes the Eclipse folder, then comes the plugins directory, then comes the actual extension. That's all you need to do, actually. Um, now, to make Polarin aware that there is a new extension, there are two things you need to do. You need to stop the Polarin server. First thing. And then, once the server has stopped, you need to go into the di directory data, workspace, and then the directory dot config. In this directory, Polarin stores some metadata about the, the extensions. And if you don't delete them, Polarin will not reload or not, re, uh, not load the extension you have deployed. So be aware that you delete this directory. So once you did that, you can start Polarin again. That's all you need to do to, all you need to, do to deploy an extension. Now, maybe a last step you should do is to verify if the extension has been loaded. And to do that, you go into the logs directory of Polarion and you open up the main log. The main log is the log file, the latest date, and it starts with log4j and then the date when you have started the Polarion server. And in my case, that's this one. And you just open it up and then there should be an entry for the for the extension that you have deployed and it's typically before the first phase you see here polaris is starting up in several phases and in my case you see here there is um, a part extensions and then um, comes the name of the extension and if the extension was correctly loaded you get the information message extension well extension was found all is good if this is not the case please check again the extensions directory of Polarin. Maybe the structure is wrong, or maybe you have forgotten to delete the .config directory. So that's all for you folks. I wish you all the best in deploying your first Polarin extension.